Hey guys, it's LSD789 with another video. I want to show you the best settings and options in the game that uh, will really improve your gameplay. So let's go into it. If you go to settings and you go to gameplay, on the top you have the temperature settings for metric or imperial. It's not really important, but it's nice. Most of these I put on yes or on. If you go down to this one, to the show skills on group frame, if you put this one to yes, uh, you can see the party's skills. So for example, Sprinkler has a sniper turret and a drone. And I can even see his cooldowns. So it, yeah, it's really nice. And just by looking at it, you know exactly what build he has. He has like a skill build. So yeah, it's really nice. Yeah, you see, this, you see, you see the cooldowns and yeah, it's just a nice uh, option to put on. If you go back to settings in the gameplay, you have the, um, the show numbers in your skill cooldown. So if you uh, use your skill, I'm going to use the Banshee right now, you see the numbers in the skill, so you know the exact second you get it back. So it's just a nice, a nice option to uh, improve your gameplay. So it's now a one second cooldown and you can use it again. It's just uh, nice to have on. Then also under the gameplay settings, you have to Enable signature weapon swap. If you put this on yes, you have the annoying uh, uh, like slowdown effect for your signature weapon. And if you put it on uh, no, it will disable that effect. You just uh, yeah, you can just keep running with it, and it's better this way, I think. You don't get that orange uh, slowing down effect if you use your specialized weapon. So that's a nice option. That one I put to no. Then there's one more at gameplay, the motion sickness mode. It will reduce uh, effects that uh, can cause motion sickness. So I put that one to yes, just for some uh, effects that will uh, help it. Then if you go to UI, you can actually customize your HUD. So you can uh, oh. you can change the size of the minimap, or you can put it on the middle of the screen, or you can yeah, you can really customize it. Yeah, you can um, you can even make different layouts. This is my favorite one. So yeah, you can change exactly how you want it. You have multiple layouts. You can increase or decrease. You can even remove things, I think. So yeah, it's really nice. That's the customize HUD option. Then under UI, this one's really important. The scrolling combat text. I think by default it's set to random sphere. And if you uh, shoot with your gun, it will put like the damage limits all around your crosshair. But I think the best option for it is um, the floating. And it's just nicely on the right side of your crosshair, all stacked on top of each other. It's really clear to see what your damage actually is. You also have the 2D option, but I also don't like that one. It's like too chaotic and not really useful. Yeah, I would prefer this one on um, floating. It's just nice and clear to see uh, all your options. Then also under the UI options, I have the the active talents above crosshair. I think that's on default on yes. So yeah, that one is nice. You can see. Uh, oh yeah, you just saw the talent pop up. Yeah, just above the crosshair, you see all your active talents. That's a really nice option. Then, if you go to settings, controls is not really important. No, he's not really. Yeah, maybe the aim assist or something. Then, in the graphics, if you have like a, a modern television, you can, uh, with HDR, you can enable and disable it. Yeah, you just saw how crappy it looks without the HDR. So definitely put this one on HDR. And you can change the settings here of it. Then this setting, I just... Uh, I don't really use this, so I just uh, disable it completely. Then also in the accessibility. This one's also really important. If you, uh, by default, your the keyboard is disabled. If you put this one to yes, you can... Uh, you get a little keyboard if you press the down button, and in the uh, in the keyboard you can type to uh, 
uh, to your friends and players that you play with. So just by tapping the down button, you get a keyboard, and there you can type. That's under the accessibility options uh, here. Let's put this one to yes. And then there are more options for that. And then I think the last thing I wanted to mention was the colorblind modus. I'm colorblind myself, so um, I think by default this is set to none. And um, if you put it on none, your gear set will look different. This one's now all green. But for me it's a little bit a little bit difficult to see, so I put this one on this colorblind modus. This will change it to I think blue. Again, I'm colorblind, so I don't really know. <laughs> but yeah, that's the that are like the most options that are useful. Uh, I want to give you some bonus options. Just for in here, you have the you have the damage yourself option in here. You can enable or disable the haste in the shooting range. And also above here, you can actually change the targets, the range of it. This one too. So yeah, there's just some extra options in the shooting range. This one we will increase. Yeah, and of course you can change the difficulties here. You can even make the enemies uh, immortal or, or invulnerable. So yeah. Uh, I think that's about it. Hope you guys think it's useful. If you have any questions or suggestions for better options or something, just write them in the comments. Hope you guys have a nice day. Like and subscribe for more videos. And yeah, LSD789, out.